Today I'm going to compare and contrast three saws uh, that you might want to consider owning and you might want to consider using. Uh, but you need to understand what's, what are the good things about them and what are the, the differentiators between them. As always, if you like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button below so we can notify you of new good content as we produce it. So let's just talk about some basics here. Uh, first of all, a table saw. You can perform, it's very versatile, you can perform rip cuts where you take pieces of wood and you cut them lengthwise on the longer length. So you push them, push the wood through the saw blade, of course using safety equipment so that it doesn't kick back at you. Or you can do a cross cut like this with a miter uh, in this track and cut across the narrow part of the wood. The circular saw is a very basic saw. It, it is also has a blade that's circular. Uh, it's smaller than the 10 inch blade that's in this table saw. And there is a flat plate on the bottom that rests on the piece of wood being cut. And as you can see, the blade protrudes down below that plate. And so you pass the saw over the wood, which the wood pushes back this blade guard, the blade cuts through, and then the blade guard snaps back. A on a track saw, which is a bit more elaborate version of a circular saw, it is, this, this track saw, by the way, is also a circular saw. So inside of this case here, encased in here, is a circular blade. And you can see the blade through that window on this particular model. And the blade, when the saw is in use, you plunge the blade down and then you move this tool over the wood. The difference between this and that circular saw is that this sits on a very stable, accurate, sturdy track. And by track, I'm talking about a railroad track kind of thing where the track fits into this groove. And so this is moving over the surface of the track which is laying on the wood. So, so what? I mean, what is the difference? This can be, do exactly the same thing as this, or it, you can use without the track, or you can use the track, in which case you will have very accurate cuts. The table saw allows you to do both rip cuts and cross cuts, and it, allows you to do them very accurately. So there's a, simil a similarity between this and the table saw in accuracy. All three of them can make basic rip cuts and cross cuts. Uh, another feature of each of these three saws is that I can make a mitered cut. So instead of cutting perpendicular to the top surface of the wood, I can cut at a miter angle of up to 45 degrees, and I can do that with any of these three saws. This saw has the capability of altering this bottom plate and its orientation to the blade to allow you to do that miter cut. In this particular saw, the, the plate stays fixed and we turn the, bl the blade over. We can do that, again, with, with this uh, instrument up here. And the table saw, I have wheels underneath that allow me to lay that blade over up to 45 degrees. So on any of the saws, I can do a cut at an angle where the blade is at an angle to the surface being cut from uh, perpendicular to it uh, up to 45 degrees off of perpendicular. The difference is in accuracy. Uh, the table saw is extremely accurate. Uh, in, I would argue that this track saw, which is high quality, is also 
extremely accurate. And this saw is really not very accurate at all. And in my experience can be a little bit hazardous if you try to take, make 45 degree cuts with the thing. But you can do it with each of these three. So why would I want one of these over another? Well, if you're making simple construction type, types of cut at a job site, not in your workshop, but at a job site, you can't beat this because you can buy one for 30 to $50 and it gets the job done because when you're doing that kind of construction, you don't need to be terribly accurate. If you're doing cabinet kind of work or finished furniture kind of work where you want to be very accurate and you want to do repetitious things, for instance, where you repeatedly make the same cut on several pieces of wood, which you would want to do if you were doing cabinet work, then you would want the table saw. And the table saw would allow you to do repetitive cuts, it would allow you to do very accurate cuts, and it gives you a fairly easy setup. If, on the other hand, you want something accurate, but you want it at the job site, and you don't want to have to truck in a, a table saw, this saw, this track saw, is portable. And it's extremely accurate and it's fairly lightweight. You can carry it and its track to the job site pretty simply. Now I have, uh, there will be links down below showing uh, how to use each of these in some detail and each, this one versus this one or this one versus the table saw. We have those videos that you may want to look at, but the differentiator here is cost accuracy and versatility. So these two are versatile in that you can take them to the job site. This one is extremely accurate. This one is almost as accurate. This one is inexpensive. So uh, depending on your the amount of money you want to spend and what you're trying to do, you have a wide choice among these three saws on how to get the job done. So I hope that you've enjoyed this content, and if so, I uh, encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the like button, and we'll see you again.